Well, this, the shortage of applicants for law enforcement jobs continues to plague local departments. And they're coming up, they say, with creative ways to hire you and me. KDK's Ash Anderson right now, Officer Ashlyn, is here to explain what they're doing. Put if, I, if I'm an officer, you're an officer, there Neil. You well, thank you. You're under arrest. And this is an issue we've been seeing for the last couple of years. We spoke to two of the largest police departments in East Texas, Tyler and Longview, about how they're getting the word out. Police departments across East Texas are still in the need for officers. Longview PD's recruitment team are reaching out to not just people in Texas. We've been going to job fairs here in Texas and in Louisiana. We've been partnering with colleges and universities. Tyler police are using any method they can to reach potential applicants. We sometimes use billboards, sometimes we use movie ads and, and theaters. Uh, we have a, a traffic device that goes to different areas that has uh, sometimes a funny slogan on it. Longview has updated certain policies and are offering monetary incentives. We have now allowed officers to wear tattoos, exposed tattoos and beards. A $3,000 sign-on bonus for experienced or non-experienced officers to come into our department. Both departments also added programs to bring existing police officers to their city. We added on that prior service credit. That is something that is huge for people who already police officers don't want to come start at a recruit level. And once you get the job, departments are providing all of the equipment you need. You pretty much have to buy your socks and your underwear, but other than that, we provide pretty much everything. Longview PD Recruitment Lieutenant Officer Kendrick Montgomery thinks many are apprehensive to the dangers officers face in the field. Well, there's, there's been some things that happen in law enforcement across this country that has taken a hard hit on law enforcement as a whole. Andy Erbal with Tyler Police says many are retiring and not a lot of people are applying. Back in 1997, we had, uh, you know, 150, 200 people apply is now you see maybe 40 or 50 people apply, but that's 24 years later. Hoping to recruit people who want a career and to serve their community and not just a paycheck. Other cities like Nacogdoches and Lufkin are also looking to hire officers and departments are also in need of 911 dispatchers. If you're interested, make sure to check each department out. In studio, Ashlyn Anderson, KTK News.